welcome to the Zach and Buzz review. I'm Buzz. And I'm Zach. And this week we're going to be reviewing a product that I've purchased. Oh yes, what have you brought in today? Well, this product uh, helps me in a certain area because you've got something that's far longer than what I've got. Sorry, I'm, I'm uh, slightly confused by that. <laughs> well, this product is going to hopefully make sure that I maintain mine to be very short. Right, maybe, maybe we should shed some light on this topic and actually get to the part where we review something. Okay. Well, <laughs> let me bring my product in. Here we are. Okay, it's ordered a box. from Ordered from Amazon. Good old Amazon. Uh, this particular product um, cost me $32.99. Okay. I think it had a retail price of uh, $45.99. And if I recall, it also had a 5% discount on it. Gotta love the discounts. Gotta love the Amazon discounts. And it's also on Prime. So this was purchased from Prime. So what is it? <laughs> right, what is it? What is it that you have that's longer than what I have? No arms. <laughs> Hair! 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 You I don't think I've ever seen you without a bandana on. I know, I normally... For those viewing, I normally <laughs> have my bandana on. But yeah. um, I've got to say, I've got to be honest, I've done a long stint on a particular film project, which I can't talk about because of NDAs. Shh. Yeah, don't tell him. <laughs> me. Um, but for that project, which has gone on for a good few months, I had to grow my hair very long. Yeah. And I hate having long. I always shave my head. Um, and I normally have a slightly shorter beard as well because, um, again, I had to grow my beard for that particular film project and there is a film project that's coming up where I still need the long so beard. So is this going to be so a this shaver? Is Hair related. Hair related. Hair okay. Related. So the I'm reason I for a the reason I mentioned about the filming okay. is because I couldn't wait to shave my hair. Yeah. So I shaved my hair, but it's still a bit bristly. Okay. I can see. It, yeah, it's grown back. Um, and the problem was, is I had one of these, uh, uh, you know, scalp shavers yeah. that, that guys that like having a bald head use, uh, and it died on me. When I went to use it, it died. So I thought. Not invested in anyone. So, let's remove the packaging. And we have. Get rid of that. <laughs> ah, the Electribrite. Okay. Now, I chose this one simply because I went onto Amazon, I look at the reviews, and uh, this one seemed to be pretty. Highly good. recommended? Yeah, pretty much for its price. Yeah. Um, yeah, I. What would you look to pay for a shaver? <sighs> Yeah, I'd probably put a limit of around 50 quid on it. I mean, you can spend a lot more. Yeah. Um, but so I. a nice mid range there. Yeah, but I, I, I use a product like this maybe once, but twice a week at maximum. Because, mm -hmm. you know, although I like to shave my head, I don't have to, like, do it every single day. Yeah. Um, so something around the 50 pounds mark, I'd expect that to last me a while. My last one did last me a reasonable amount of time um, but unfortunately the battery seemed to have given out and it wouldn't so let's see it. how long this one lasts uh yeah i'll tell you what we're gonna need the knife to open we're gonna this. need a knife okay let's get a knife let's get a knife so <laughs> what this is is the electri bright rotary shaver model number ms-672 uh it says it's waterproof has six shaving heads uh, it's a Type C charger, uh, LED display, 90 minutes of shaving time. Right, here and you a, go. And a security lock. We've got a knife. Here's a knife. a knife. Rather large knife. We have a knife. <laughs> Ooh, nice pattern welded one as well. Uh, yeah, because it's got a security sticker on there. There you go. Okay. We shall remove this. Okay. A safe distance. <laughs> a safe distance. Okay, so. Um, yeah, let's see what's in the box. Let's see what's in the box. If I get open. It's good. Well, that hopefully it's a shaver. <laughs> well, it's good that the security tag is uh, intact because yeah, you know, sometimes you hear of people getting products that mm. people have sent back, and then right. they get sent out to them. I don't want that. No, we don't want it. So brand new out of the box. Brand new out of the box. Okay. Right. What have we got out the top? Got some accessories. Right. Accessories. They're uh, different shaving cones. Okay, so no. I'm going to just move that slightly to one side. Yeah, can do. Now, these are, these are your... This is quite good, and I'll tell you why, because although I purchased this 
to obviously go over my head. Yeah. Um, I don't recall the advert mentioning, yeah, the actual advertisement for it, and it doesn't actually say on the box or even show a depiction on the box of anything other than the actual rotary head. Right. So I I have got a separate beard trimmer. Yeah. Um, for, for doing the beard and trimming up all the edges and mm. the bits and pieces. But these combs would uh, suggest that suggest it, comes with it, that it well. also has it something does, it else does, that we didn't expect. That I didn't expect. So there we go. We seem to have uh, three varying in le length hair combs. accessories. A little little cleaning brush. <laughs> well, yeah, a little cleaning brush. I'm really go. happy about that brush for some <laughs> reason. Uh, a USB C charging cable. Yeah. Thank goodness for that because there are so many products that are still um, being sent out which have the. Uh, what is the micro USB? Yeah, yeah. Uh, and that's pretty much out. I think it's been standardised now. Yeah, I think they were trying to standardise it with Apple as well, but I don't know if that's that's happened. Come into force yet? Yeah. Let's open it. What is in the box? What's in the box? We have instructions. A, a very small instruction. Oh yeah, right. So it has got different shaving heads with it. Now I didn't see that on the actual advert, um, unless I missed it, of course. We'll put the product details in, in the description so you can uh, look this one up for yourself. Right, so what have we got in here? We have, do you want to do the instructions? What, what, is, what is this? Okay, uh, it seems to have... Number four. What? Do not immerse the appliance in the water for a long time. Well, this is a little brush. Little brush. Little brush. Components for facial cleaning brush. Ooh. Not going to be very good with my beard. Okay. <laughs> Maybe uh, your eyebrows. Yeah, your eyebrows. <laughs> but it's quite soft. Look at that. That's soft. See? Yep. A, I face, <laughs> a facial cleaning brush, everybody. How about yeah, that? Yeah, okay. Um, What's that? Let's see. Oh, this is one. Uh, oh, I know what this is. Number four. Look, it's even got a fancy cap that goes on it. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, yeah. Is, it's a nose trimmer. If I can get it out. Maybe you're meant to put it into the machine first. Probably. We'll try that one. Nose trimmer. Nose trimmer and ears. Oh, and ears. And for ears. those gentlemen that have hair that's grown in the ear. <laughs> Very good. There's the bit. Right, so this is the trimming head. So that's the thing that those yeah, you can, these you, bits you go can on. Do your, you can do your okay. sideburns, get cut around the edges, right. tidy things up nicely. And of course, that's what these different size combs, they just slide on and clip on. They're pretty standard with most of these things, you know. Um, yeah, a little bit. There's, yeah, okay. That's fine. I have to give it a go. I have to give it a go. Well, we've got... Oh, there's St. Gills in here. What's this? Uh, What's this one? This is very... Number seven, this okay. Is, this number is seven. rubbery. It's a massage head. A mas I can massage my head with, with a massage head. A massage head. A massage head. head. I can. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm gonna have to try that out. Right. So that's all the accessories in the box. Yeah. Let's get out the main wee beastie. Look at this. <laughs> the, the main reason we bought it. Yeah. This is this is what I bought it for. Uh, let's. Should we put that to the side? Yeah, we can go, can go to the side. Uh, oh, well, we got bits of bits of cardboard. And right. So here. Oh, that's a bit of flash. It looks like some kind of. I don't know. Phaser gun or something. <laughs> What's the weight like? Uh, now the other one I had was very much like um, a pear drop shape. This right. is, this has got some this is like square, more of a handle square side. This this one yeah it's ergonomically is that fine. like a textured yeah the little grip the little text text voice give it to you textured grip uh, on an off button and although this looks black if it's anything like my last one. That will light up. That'll be the LED screen right. on there, okay, which basically cool. tells you how much charge you got on it. Yeah, I think that's um, restrictions. We, we have charging point here, and we've got. This should just unclip off there. That's the cover. It looks like some kind and, of torture device. <laughs> and then they're all sprung. You see, they're all sprung. That's weird. So they they form to the shape of your head. It looks like an octopus. And normally with these, <laughs> normally with these. Um, there you go. Yeah, don't break it. They just open up. So you can get your wee, your wee cleaning brush. 
and get all your bristles out. Why did you have to change it to a Scottish accent a, for that? A Scottish accent. Because <laughs> uh, I, I like the word we as in we, small. Okay. Okay. Not as in, you know, having a we. <laughs> but yeah, these open up. The cent <laughs> central ones should come off as well. Um, uh, so yeah, you can clean all those out easily enough. Shall I push the on button? Obviously, we've just taken this out of the packet. Yeah. So I wouldn't. Ex it may have some charge because I'm sure that they test these before. So let's go. Oh, look! We have. I don't know if you can see this. We have a counter going. What's the counter? About. Right. Well, I'm going to turn that off. So we've got a lot that's actually come with this that I didn't know that was coming with it. Now, normally with these, as you pull the head off. Lifetime in minutes. Yep. Head Ooh, just pulls okay. off. Okay. So there you go. I just wonder what the I... archaeologists will think when they find this in however many years. So, time. what do you do? Where, where does the massage head fit? Does it fit onto that one? I'm, I'm intrigued. Does this come off? Uh... Yeah, oh, it does. Look, okay. Look. Okay, so we take that one off. That's handy. And we fit that one on there. Mm -hmm. Oh! It, we, can, we can test this one out. We're gonna, I'm going to fully charge this up. If you can get it to fit. No, no, it's got little lugs on it, so it can only go in one way. Like that, boom. Okay. Um, so I'm going to fully charge this up and shave my, polish my head, shave my head, um, and we'll come back and see how we get on with that uh, a little bit later on. But let's just try this out. Oh, good grief. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, this is... Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we need an honest review here. <laughs> okay. Ooh. Come on. I'm massaging your... That's a weird feeling. I'm, I'm, I'm massaging not, your head. I'm not sure I like that. What, Look, am, I, what am I meant to do? It, look, it looks like somebody's got a whisk. And like... Am I meant to be just... Spinning on your head. <laughs> oh, it actually just turns, yeah. Yeah. Am I, am I meant to just sit there and just... What, does it say anything about that in the book? In the, in the manual? Uh, it's not a particularly a, like, big manual. Not really, it's three pages, isn't it? Four pages. One page. Oh, okay. <laughs> now, what do I do with this massage thing? Uh, how's, this, how's this meant to... No. No. No, we just... No. We just... We just rub it we on our heads. We just figure it out. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so... There we go, I'm going to pull that off. Take the massage head off. These, these all interchange very easily, I've got to say. Well, that's that's pretty cool. The polishing brush now. Yeah, I don't know. This has got lots of little holes in it. This this cover, I don't quite know what that's for. Maybe, maybe it's to drain off water or something. Uh, yeah, let the air to it, probably. Yeah, let it dry out. If I can get it to go on straight. <laughs> this is going really well. <laughs> There's lots of little pieces yeah. that you've got to kind of try I don't, I and work out how it fits together. I didn't have these with my last one. So, yeah, that just... Are you happy about the attachments? <laughs> yeah, I am, if I can get them to go together. I see that, I don't know. This is... Does that sit in there? I don't know. Doesn't... Do you know what I mean? What's that? That okay. little clip. That little clip. What's that clip? Or have I just... Been no, that's it. That's okay. it. That's probably what it was. Ah. There you go. Okay. We have okay. attached the brush. Well, that's right. I'm going to check the brush works. I don't think I'm going to use these, to be honest with you. See, look, it's just spinning. <laughs> oh, what am I meant to do? Exfoliate with this or something? What did he say it was? Oh, goodness me. I don't know. If, if I get my beard caught in this, it's going to be like... It's, ah, a, ah. it's a facial cleaning brush. A facial cleaning brush. For, uh, I don't think this... this oh, my beard's gone all fuzzy now. <laughs> <laughs> Facial cleaning brush, which frankly I think is going to go back in the pot. I don't know how's that meant to stay on. There you go. Click. Okay. Let's Carefully click. I'm a little bit kind of rough-handed on over these things. I think Mr. Sausage Fingers. <laughs> Mr. Sausage Fingers, and uh, I am renowned to uh, break things by accident. Um, anyway, there we go. That's why I bought it. All the extra stuff. This this shaving extra head, handy. Right. Happy with that. Other stuff. So let's go charge this little baby up. Yep. And come back and see how I got on. And we're back. And we're back. So there we go. Proof I, is in the pudding, as proof they is say. In the pudding. What do you what do you reckon? Am I am I feeling less 
less rough. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're quite smooth now. Yeah, quite smooth. <laughs> um, not bad. I mean, you know, as I say, I, with the discount, I paid about £31. And Overall, do you think it was worth the money? Well, I don't know how much charge was in it out of the box, but I charged it up for half an hour and mm -hmm. it said it was fully charged. Yeah. Um, and it still says, let's have a look. Uh, just let it run for a second. It says it's got 86 minutes worth of... Now, I don't think it's going to take 86 minutes to shave your hair. No, it took me, I don't know, five minutes. You know? Max. I mean, my hair would all grown out so I had to get my initial shave uh, razor and just go over the top of my head but this, this is to this is to maintain it fine tuning um, and obviously because it's been the winter time I need to now get out in the sun and get a bit color to my my head um, but uh, we're talking about the product so this uh, electro bright I I mean you know it's fine if you're looking for I'll agree with the reviews on Amazon um, and uh, it worked fine. You know. Worth it? I kind of, if there's anything comparing it to the one that I had before, I think that, uh, my, I don't know, maybe it was my other one sounded a little bit more <clears throat> when it was mm. running. This is, this is quality a lot quieter. Wise, is it a lot better than the um, other one? The heads are about the same, I'd say. Mm. Um, body's slightly different. I'd say it's lighter. Right. I think the proof is in the pudding. It did it. It cut my hair, and I'm going to maintain it with this. Are you this. happy with it? So I think, yeah, I'm very, ha I'm happy with well, it. There you are. Yeah, because I've been desperate to sh shave my head. So I think what we'll do, um, if I have an issue with it in the yeah. future, we can always come back and just give a second review if, if there's any, if, if I find that it malfunctions or something. Or, let's face it, all products. Okay, we're we're uh, doing this product review from the UK. Yeah. And in the UK, we have what's known as the Consumer um, Rights, Act. Rights Act of 2015, which basically states that a product should be fit for purpose. Mm -hmm. Come on. Should last for a reasonable amount of time. Last for a reasonable amount of time. And be made of reasonable quality. And be made of reasonable quality. Um, and if you buy any product okay, in the UK you are covered by the Consumer Rights Act 2015. Don't get taken in by 12-month warranties. Yeah. In the UK, there is no such thing as a 12-month warranty. That's just the manufacturers trying to pass the buck. If uh, a company offers you a warranty, it's, it would you'd expect it to be above and beyond the Consumer Rights Act. Yeah. What the Consumer Rights Act means is that if you have uh, an issue with something, um, initially within I think it's 14 day period might need to check on yeah. that but if you are doing an online purchase and you purchase it online then you can send it back straight away if you're not happy with mm -hmm. it um, if uh, it breaks down or something happens to that product or say it was clothing and it uh, wasn't wearing you know very well then due to the Consumer Rights Act you can ask for like with this, it would be, um, if it's a very short period of time, I could probably ask for my money back. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, it would be fair to say that the uh, retailer can offer me either a repair or replacement. But the thing is, I say retailer, because in the UK, it's all about the contract with the retailer. So it's whomever you've purchased an item from, they're the ones that have to deal with it. Don't let them pass you on to the manufacturer. Yeah, a lot of That's them, they'll the say, oh, sorry, it's nothing to do with us. You need to go and contact the manufacturer. They no. just don't want the responsibility. No, uh, you will have your contract with the company that you purchased it through, and they're the ones obliged to sort it out. Yes. A uh, little bit of advice. If you're buying anything that's over £100, buy it on a credit card. Uh, credit card means you've got a lot more cover um, to the to the point that um, even if uh, you're having real problems with the uh, retailer over a product that in fact you can pass the buck and the uh, credit card company will take up the uh, banner to chase them for whatever and the yeah. credit card company will reimburse you so and that I think that's even part payment as well so as long as you've paid even like a deposit on a credit card 
the credit card covers you for the full amount of the product that you've purchased. So anyway, with this particular product, the Electribrite Rotary Shaver, <laughs> yeah, I'm happy with it. Thumbs up. I'm giving it a thumbs up. Thumbs up. I'm giving it a thumbs up. Unless it breaks on me, and then we'll be back. <laughs> if, if, there does, if, if you don't get us coming back with this particular product, then it's a fair shot that uh, go for it. Well, we do have a few more products that we have lined up to do some reviews on. If you'd like to see them, please like and subscribe to this channel, and we will see you in the next review.